Let's stand together. Let's come to our Heavenly Father in prayer. Father, thank you for being with us today. <coughs> thank you for what you do in our lives daily. But most of all, Father, thank you for giving us your Son. And we ask you to accept these tithes, gifts and offerings that so many more people can know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Saviour. Thank you, Father, for giving us your Son. Please sit down. We seem to have prayed a lot already this morning, but it's just so great to have the privilege of being able to talk to our Heavenly Father. And it's just, we're going to spend a few minutes just praying about some of the needs of our, our fellowship and uh, yeah, some of the things that are, are important to us at this time. Let's, let's pray together. Father God, again, we thank you. You've called us to belong to this family here. And Father, at this time, we just want to um, commit uh, the building, the plans that we've made to, to you. And ask that you continue to bless us and continue to guide us. <coughs> Father God, as the meetings carry on uh, with builders and with quantity surveyors, as the meetings start to take place about where we're going to be able to meet in the future, as uh, we meet with different people with the Baptist Union regarding Malone, Father God, we just pray that, that your spirit will guide us in all these meetings, that you'll lead us forward at this time and in this place. We thank you that you're the God who provides and that we can trust you for provision for all that we need at this time. Please help us to make wise choices and wise decisions. Father, we just want to, want to pray also for, um, for our family who are in Uganda at this time. Father, we thank you for Stephen and for Roy and for Hayley. We thank you for going with them 
and for blessing them. We thank you for the way you've used them already on their trip. We pray particularly you'll be with Stephen and Roy as they are involved in services this day. And we pray that they'll grow in love for you during their experiences at this time. And we pray that they might be a blessing to our, our brothers and sisters in Uganda. And we pray that their trip might be successful. And Father, that you continue to bless the work of Global Challenge. And then when they come back, uh, Father, that, that you will enable uh, Global Challenge just to plan for the future better because of their trip. <coughs> Father, we want to pray for some of the individual people uh, on our prayer list at this time who are struggling, going through difficult times, or even going through exciting times. And Father, we just want to pray for all those who are, have gone off to university or are going off in the coming week. Father, we've seen the list, but there are just so many of them. But we thank you for this exciting time in their lives. And we pray, Father God, in these first weeks that they might meet good friends, make good friendships. That they might have opportunity to, to meet people in Christian unions and, and people in churches who will really help them to continue to grow in their faith in this time. We pray for their protection. And we pray, Father, they might just make the very best of this amazing opportunity that they have. And Father, we pray that even on this day, they might know that they are still part of our family, even though they are so far away. Father, I just want to pray for Isabel and John to at this time. And Father, we just, uh, we've heard that Isabel's mother goes into a nursing home on Monday. And that Isabel's brother's had a fall and he's broken his hip. And for both of these things and all these things, we want to pray that these people might know your blessing and your peace at this time. We thank you that you never leave us alone and through all the difficult times of life, you walk with us. So we just pray for your peace and your blessing at this time. Father, we too want to pray for the family of Audrey, who we know through our, our GAP community projects. Father, we want to thank you for her life, for her, her, um, her good humour, and for the way she, she was a blessing to so many of us. We want to pray for her family at this time as they, they come to terms with her death. Father, we also just want to pray for, for Marilyn Redding, for Edna, for the Reverend John Richardson and his wife as they continue to, to recover, for Dee, and for Ruth, for Jackie, Frank and Jeanette, for, for John, for the Jefferson family, Father, for all these people who have a variety of illnesses or struggles at this time or have faced operations. We, Father, we want to continue to pray that Terry would, would fully recover that George would fully recover from their operations. And again, we thank you that you have promised to be close to these people at this time. That you promised to be their God and to be their Heavenly Father. And we commit them all to you. And Father, we're just going to have a moment of silence as each one of us just brings people that are on our hearts and our minds to you. And Father, in these moments too, we want to thank you uh, for the, the family news you've had this morning. Uh, that Andy and Sarah are getting engaged. Father, we thank you for blessing them in their relationship. And Father, we just pray that in the plans they're going to be making together over the next couple of months, that, that you will bless them and guide them and be with them in all that they do together. We pray for all these things in the name of Jesus, our loving Saviour. Amen. One of our main reasons for getting together on a Sunday morning together is, is to worship God. And we're going to spend some time singing a few songs together this morning. I'm going to ask you to stand at the beginning, but we're going to sing three songs together. So if you want to sit down during that time, please feel free. But we're going to stand together. We're just going to sing these, these songs. And we're just going to concentrate and worship our Heavenly Father. Let's stand together. <coughs> 